Good evening. I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com, and it's the uh, end of May, May 31st. I want to look at Semtech here, uh, not the explosive. Um, here's the thing. Uh, the company, uh, analog and mixed signal um, devices for mobile phones, computers, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Um, really, really strong company, great earnings, not the strongest in their group, but still, you can't really fight the uptrend. It kind of works. So what are we going to do with this stock? They report earnings. Um, they beat estimates. All good. But the stock's down. Look at it here. Not on huge volume, but you can see what happened. I'm looking at this as a potential buying opportunity. If the stock was up, like let's say it was up to $39 or $40, this is definitely one that you want to fade because it's already been rising out of this channel, um, not hugely overbought, but it's been kind of strong. So the stock gaps up even more. you got to figure that uh, traders are going to be taking profits. As I look at this now, with this stock pulling back to around 37, um, a little bit below, uh, a little bit below 37, this this actually looks like a, a, a pretty good buy zone um, to me. As close as you could get it to, say, the 20-day moving average. Again, they posted strong numbers. The stock's just down, and we've seen that on other stocks recently. Uh, Momo had different sector altogether, but... Momo had great earnings. Look what happened here. You know, the stock traded down and it's just now kind of finding its legs. But my bet is you look at this a year from now, you'll look at me and say, gosh, Dan, thanks for telling me to buy this stock at 38 bucks with the stop under there. You're going to like that. Similarly, with Semtech here, this stock is at 37. Maybe it falls a bit more tomorrow. Hopefully, you wait until the stock kind of firms up. Don't just catch a falling knife. But once it looks like the selling is over, and that can be within the first minute of trading um, or the first five minutes, but at some point the stock's going to bottom, that's when you buy this stock. And then you just hang on to it for a while. You have to be patient with it. But generally speaking, these are the kind of easy stocks to own. They don't go, they don't go anywhere fast, but they just kind of gradually move higher. And so these are like no, no fuss, no must trades um, that just kind of keep working enough to make you happy you own them, but they're not so volatile that they keep you late at night. So, okay, members, over to the strategy session, and I'm also going to be laying out our um, submarine trades. Uh, and you're going to have to watch the strategy session to figure out exactly what that is.